Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. So you may be already familiar with how to animate a run cycle or a walk cycle in side view, but when it comes to front view, walk cycle or run cycle, things get a bit complicated. You cannot easily rig the character using the Twig Bezier plugin or rubber hose or any other rigging plugins because you have to keep in mind about the perspective. So in this video, I want to show you guys how to animate a run cycle in front view just like this in After Effects without using any plugin. So let's start. So let's check out how to separate the layers in Adobe Illustrator before importing it in After Effects. So this is the illustration and these are the layer separations. So I have separated the layers of each of the objects in such a way that the elements that I need to move independently in After Effects that I need it in separate layer. So for example, all the limbs and the joints are in a separate layer for hand the arm, the forearm and the hand is in a separate layer. For the leg, this whole leg and the foot layers are in a separate layer. But we are going to recreate the leg layer in After Effects using the pen tool. But I have also separated all the layers for the shoe as well. For the head, I have also separated all the facial elements in a separate layer so that we can animate the face in After Effects. And other than that, I have made this back hair completely straight so that we can distort this hair layer in After Effects itself using the Puppet Pin tool. So like this, I have separated the layers in Adobe Illustrator so that when we import it in After Effects, we get all these layers as a separate layer in After Effects. Okay, so now let's jump into After Effects and start with the leg animation. First, we are going to learn how to animate the legs in perspective. So for that, we're going to recreate the legs using the pen tool. So we're going to recreate each of the joints and we're going to change the stroke width. I think this one is good. Now under the stroke, we're going to change the settings of the tapered value. And then we're going to change the line cap to rounded cap. So right now, we're going to adjust the layer such a way that it is exactly same as the illustration. Now we're going to do the same for this joint as well. So now we are going to use an inbuilt script called create nulls from path to connect each of the path coordinates with a null object. So for that, select the path property of a shape layer and click on points follow null. And right now, when you move the null object, you can see the path coordinate is moving with it. Now. We're going to parent this one with this one. So when we move this null object, this joint moves together. So now we're going to start with the animation. For a front view run cycle, these are the key poses. A typical run cycle takes around half a second and this is a contact pose. In between there would be a passing pose and this is the next contact pose. So currently we are in 30 FPS and I'm going to take around 16 frames for one run cycle. So now we are going to put the position keyframe on this null layers. And after that, we are going to put keyframes on the tapered values. So let's jump onto the 16th frame and we are going to put the same keyframes. Also, I want to add a ruler over here where the leg is touching the ground. After that, I'm going to jump on to next 8 frame. Here there will be the next contact pose. So I'm going to select this null object and place it over here. 
and we are going to adjust the value of the taperedness. So we have to adjust the value such a way that it should look like it's in perspective and directing backwards. Let's slightly shift the joint a bit. Now I'm going to jump on to next four frame here. I'm going to add a passing pose. So I'm going to bring this null object and put it over here. And here we need to adjust the tapered value such a way that it should look like it's completely flat, not in perspective. So at this pose, the whole leg should be completely straight. And here at the 12th frame, I'm going to add another passing pose. So I'm matching the legs exactly as the key poses. Alright, let's easy use the keyframes and change this in between passing pose keyframes into roving keyframes. And let's check out the animation. Okay, so now we're going to animate the foot layers. So we're going to start with this one. So we're going to parent this one with this null object. And let's turn off the visibility of these layers for now. So for this layer, I'm only going to animate the shape path property. So I'm going to jump into each of these key poses and try to match the key poses of the front run cycle. So we are going to also add some in-between keyframes to fix the in-between poses. Now we are going to animate the foot. So we are going to parent the foot bottom with this foot and this one with this layer. So for the foot, we are going to animate the scale position and the shape path property and we are going to match the key poses with the key poses of the front run cycle okay so with this the leg animation is done so right now we are going to animate the body so for the body, we are only going to animate the position in Y axis. So we're going to move on to the next eight frame or maybe four frame. And we're going to move the body up like this. And here we are going to slightly move it down. Then we're going to jump on to next four frame, copy and paste the initial keyframe. Easy is the keyframes and add loop expressions. Now we are going to animate this null layer with respect to the body. So we are going to select this one and only going to animate it in the y axis of the position. Here we are going to move it up a bit and here we are going to slightly move it down. And here we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe and easy as it and copy and paste the loop expression okay now to get the other side of the leg you just have to precomp all the layers together and then duplicate it one more time and reflect it horizontally and pre-position it and you can add time remapping keyframes and add the loop expression to loop it in time so with this, the legs animation for the front run cycle is done. Now we are going to learn how to animate the hands in perspective for a front view run cycle. So for that, first we are going to select the hand layer and we are going to move the anchor point at the overlap between the forearm and the hand. For the forearm, we should move the anchor point 
for the overlap between arm and forearm and for the arm it should be at the shoulder now we are going to parent the hand with the forearm forearm with the arm and the arm is going to be parented with the body which it already is now we are going to animate the rotation property as well as the shape path property so first we are going to select all these layers press R to open the rotation and here we are going to jump on to the next contact pose and put keyframes and the next contact pose we are going to put the keyframes here we are going to rotate the arm a bit like this I think at this point we can keep the arm a bit closer and here we are going to rotate the forearm like this and then the hand like this maybe we can spread out the arm and the forearm a little bit all right so now we are going to add another keyframe for the hand which is the scale property at this point we are going to scale down the hand a bit and here we are going to copy and paste the initial keyframe now we are going to animate the shape path property for this forum layer so open the shape path property here we are going to distort this layer in perspective we can even adjust the scale of the hand And then we are going to adjust the shape path property for all the layers of the arm. So now we are going to copy the path property keyframes and paste it at the last frame. So let's easy is the keyframes. All right. So here is the hand animation. So this is the technique I used for the hand animation. And like this, you can animate a front view run cycle with very simple techniques without using any plugin. Also, if you want to learn how to animate a front view run cycle for a ninja, then you can check it out. I will be providing the link in the description or you can click on the I button on the top right corner to check out the tutorial. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you like the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And, and if you're here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.